Welcome back YouTube to the 2008 Honda Fit easiest car in the world to work on tutorial. This is the notorious air filter. Costs approximately what? 10 to 12 bucks and I'm gonna back up for just a second and I'm gonna grab one and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This, okay? Now this one's dirty. So, I just took this one out. I believe this is the correct part you need for this particular job. Go to Walmart, wherever, grab one of these things. Now, for special tools, you're going to need something that's very special and unique. Um, but fortunately, hopefully, you all have them. It's called opposable thumbs. God provided them to most all human beings. Amazing. So you can thank your mother for this. But you take your opposable thumb and you put it on this little tab right here. And you can make a song if you want. But I would just say stop screwing around and push the button. And then this pops off. What? And then there's another one here. Two. And then this third one here. Seven. And then this last one over here. Whoa. Oh, can't use my finger there. Need the opposable thumb. Man. Okay, now. If you have massive monster hands, just grab this thing. If you don't, grab it from here. It doesn't really matter. You lift. You can wiggle. And... <laughs> it's just that easy. I, I mean, good job, Honda. They're honestly usually always this easy. But the important thing I want you to take notice of before you yank it out and get all excited is this has a slope to it. So I'm going to lift this up. And then I'm going to turn it. And you're going to go, what? See that kind of line? So the diagonal is going up. The reason why that matters is because if you do turn it around, you could get it to work. But it's not going to work very well. Okay? Now, this is a k and air filter. The reason why I have this is because it came with a car and I actually kind of liked having the OEM one right here, the regular factory kind of style in there that's just the paper. But this one was really easy to clean. I just stuck in a bucket of dish water, uh, dish soap, not dish water, yeah. Dish soap water, much different there, you, wow. So anyway, and then I just let it soak there and I shook it around and it kind of sprayed it out and then it cleaned up really nice then. And as you can see, there's a little water in there. I literally just did this. So um, this is for the purposes of the video. So don't be like, wow, this guy's putting water in his car, man. It's, it's that bad. But anyway, I just stuck this in to show you guys how uh, easy it is. You can actually see like light through this. So, I mean, easy to clean, okay? But this isn't my favorite filter, so I do want to get those other ones. So I'm gonna zip over to Walmart throw this one in there when I need to, just to get back and forth. But the reason why, I, I just don't wanna have to clean these, and again, I like to use the OEM parts. So this one was like 40 bucks, and I'm sure it's fine. But all you do is take the new filter, you stick it in there, you make sure this is going, you know, downhill as you look at it, okay? Again, from the side, downhill, okay? It should look basically level, you should be able to put your hand on this and this should be level. If it's like this or like this, then you're doing it wrong. And then installation is just as easy. You put the shaft in the hole, haha, ha, no jokes, okay. And then now you might want to use your actual first finger or third or however many you have. Flip these back up. There are four, if you cannot count that high, I suggest you go check out some Elmo videos. They're pretty cool, your kids will love them. And then you're done. Air filter replaced. So I'm gonna take this back apart here in a second and then I'm gonna go ahead and dry that actual air filter back out. And then uh, I think I'm gonna pressure wash the inside of this because this looks kind of crappy. But point is guys, this is an awesome car. I have, like I said, 180,000 miles on this thing and I've done like nothing to it. Um, I've, I've changed oil. Uh, I've, I've had someone adjust the valves for me because I didn't end up doing that myself. And then air filter and then that cabin filter video I just did. Um, other than that, this thing has been great. So, uh, I don't know how easy it is to work on the rest of the back end of this because a lot of this stuff looks kind of tight back here and whatnot, but we haven't needed to go there, so I'm not going to. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. As always, feel free to subscribe if you like this stuff. I'll try to put some more stuff out there. I got some Toyota Tacoma stuff to put on in a little while, so maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Thanks again, YouTube, and have a great day.